Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have the infamous what's in my Konkin and what's in my mini Konkin. I have done this video before and wow did it get a ton of views and was super well received. Um, if you've not seen that video then go find it in my um, older videos. I can try to figure out how to link it if possible. If not, just go look for it it's towards the very beginning. As with all the Konkins, they are just kind of a rectangular um, bag. This one is a lot coarser of material than my old one. Um, like I said, I have done one of these before on my baby blue one and this is a lot thicker material. This is the sage green and then the handles are um, a camel tan leather whereas my baby blue was the same material as the bag as well as the same color. So obviously this emblem which is not the reflective um, pearlescent emblem is not going to gl glow in the dark or catch light or anything like that, but it is still pretty to look at. My first one was intended to be my purse slash diaper bag with my daughter Lucy, and this one was my purse slash diaper bag with my son Oliver, who is about to turn two years old. So this is still half purse mostly diaper bag. Anyway, let's dive in. Um, I will show you that there are the little pockets on the side, just like with the other. There's not much in there. There's not much you can keep in there. I usually have sunglasses or keys buried in there. Let's see what I got. Hmm. Got a ponytail holder, a little bit of honey, and a pen. What else? This could be, oh, I got some more. More little bit of honey. I didn't even like pre-plan this out. Um, a lot of times I'll have a sassy in there. But today I don't. Um, the bag still has the um, crisscross pattern, as you can see, and um, the adjustable straps where you can snap. So we're gonna open up this small pocket and show you what's in there. Um, so I've got some LOL checklists. We've been um, collecting LOL dolls, and even when we don't have a doll with us or a doll to open, my daughter loves to just open the checklist and name them all and point out who we have and things like that and that's fun entertainment for her to sit there and do that. Um, so I have Daniel Tiger and I have Owlette. These are just obviously two figures put in here in case I'm, we're somewhere that I'm desperate for the kids to be quiet and we don't have the other bag which keeps the toys typically. Um, I have this little bracelet in here that says Lucy. I don't know if I can see that. Um, that was made for her by my son's girlfriend. We have a baby spoon because it's actually a baby doll spoon, but she used it to feed Owlette and Dino Tiger. So and then we have some sassies in here because <gasps> you can never have too many. Yeah, yours. You want them? All these over there eating cereal. And just give them all to him. And then we have a scrunchie because I'm bringing scrunchies back. Okay, so as with all the Konkins, you can unzip them, and I usually lay them on flat like that, or I'll just zip it from the top and look in that way while it's sitting up. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do it this way. So if you remember from my last video, I hope you guys can see, um, I still have this little unicorn rainbow bag, um, and it has different stuff than the last time. It had like baby spoons and baby food and things like that, baby lotion. Now it's got my medication. It's got like um, travel, mascara, lip gloss, some feminine girly stuff, and a brick for your phone because life. And this is handy because I can take this bag out and throw it anywhere and know that I've got my chopstick, my medicine that I need, and a brick. And those are pretty essential to life. And my wallet. This is the exact same wallet as I had in the last video. And that last video was, I think, almost two years old, maybe. This is an empty CB cup. I don't carry an empty CB cup. I was just, like, using it for the purpose of this video of, like, normally I would sit it down on the side kind of there, like, on the diapers, but in between my diaper and the um, wallet, just so that that's the slot that I would go, especially if we have one that kind of leaks. I try to keep it upright. Um, and then we have wipes, and then we have diapers, because my Ollie is still on diapers. Then we have, I just threw in an extra pair of panties for Lucy. She's not potty training anymore, but you just never know where an accident will happen. And then this is a romper. Lucy and Ollie are two years and two days apart. This is from Henry Glair. It's really adorable. So Lucy wore this when she was a little bit over two and Ollie is almost two and it runs big. It's one of those that have like the harm 
the harm crotch leg. Um, and so I say all of that to say, um, it's an outfit within and, within and of itself. It's pants and a shirt, it's just connected. And it would be very snug on Lucy, but if some type of accident were to occur and she needed it, it would fit her. Um, it's a little loose on Ollie, but if some type of accident were to occur, he would be able to wear it too. So that's pretty much the only outfit um, that is like that. So we keep it hanging around just for emergencies. This is my Ye Light Action Camera that my husband got me for my birthday. I meant for Christmas. Um, it's like the equivalent of a GoPro, obviously not high end like a Go GoPro, but like that's what type of camera it's for. Um, if you've seen any of my outings, like at Target and stuff, we use this a lot for vlogging, for being in the car. Um, and since you never know when you're gonna vlog, I always try to have it in the bag if I can remember, um, or I haven't taken it out to upload videos. And this is actually the waterproof case for it, um, but we don't have like a case case, so I just always leave it in that to keep it safe. And then, it always has like the attachment that's um, mountable to the dashboard in my car. Sunscreen. I'm pretty sure this was not in the last bag, but um, if you have seen any of our videos, you know that my Ollie is a pale, pale little white haired kid. Um, somehow we're not really sure he's the only one like that. So even in winter time, sometimes we gotta, we gotta get that boy lathered up. Okay, so in this pocket, as you know from the last video, or if you have a Konkin, there's like a cushion. The Konkin, the other Konkins are um, like a real like thin foam. This one is a really decent like thick covered mat. I've never used them in either bag. Um, it, they're supposed to be built so that you can take them out and sit on them. That was kind of the um, kind of what they were created for in terms of this being. Um, let's go, let's just see the tag says. In 1978, we launched Konkan to, pro to prevent back problems among Swedish, Swedish school children. Many of the early Konkans are still in use today. And it's even got the old school, like, name and address and contact for if you were a little kid. I'll show that up there if I can. Um, and so since this was designated to be school children, when they started making them, they had the little foam in the background so that kids could pull it out and sit on it to do to read or do their lunch um, during uh, like you know whenever there's like one room school buildings and all that jazz so in the back I have um, like an empty notebook I mean it's not empty it's got like notes and stuff in it this is usually what I like take notes in at church or like I just jot down or kind of journal um, I always 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 keep stickers in both bags no matter where we go because it's the one thing for sure that Lucy will be preoccupied by now she is a lot less wild these days than Oliver is but she still does not like to get bored and so that does not bore her so we keep stickers in both bags so we're yeah that is all that is in this one so I have recently started knitting and so I have these set aside for you because I think there's probably like a reasonable place to put them. I mean, there's still tons of room left up here at the top. Um, so if I were to find like a little bag or something, then I would be able to keep that in there. Um, it's really good for my anxiety as well as obviously if you're waiting. But if you're a mom and you know the truth is that you don't really ever have extra time to yourself. So anyway. Okay, so here is our brick red mini conkin. It has obviously been around the block a few times. Um, we're about to make this one solely Ollie's, and then um, we're gonna let all, uh, Lucy pick out a new color. She loves this little backpack um, so much. It fits her perfectly. Um, we have other, you know, little frou-frou backpacks like, that are pink or Shopkins or this or that, and she still gravitates towards this one every time because it's been hers since she was a little baby, and she knows that it's hers, and is ready for a new color, and to pass this one down to baby brother because it's dirty. And these can be easily, easily wiped down, I'm sure. We just haven't done it. Um, but as you notice, this is, um, a different material than the leather strap on mine, and it matches the bag, and then this has the reflective um, Fijal Raven Konkin, like, reflective emblem right there. So, um, hers also has the side pockets um, that don't really fit anything, especially for her age. I might have had a pair of little, little tiny baby sunglasses in there at one point, but they're not in there anymore. Um, okay, so anyway, when you open this pump pocket, what I almost always have are one or two things I either have some little toys or some treats. I try not to keep them both in there at the same time. Um, and so we have some, let's see, some snap, princess snap dresses, Tangled, Rapunzel, 
and Ariel. Okay, so here's Rapunzel. What a snap dress is, is just like you can put the, um, any dress that's part of the magic clips from Disney and you can stick it on their body. That is not her dress. That is, I don't know, Snow White's fancy dress maybe. And then this one is Anna's dress from Frozen. And we're gonna put it on Little Mermaid. And so what's fun about these is that we have a bunch of the princesses and we have a bunch of the dresses. Bada bing, bada boom. And so whenever she's got a whole bunch of them together, she can just sit there and continuously like switch dresses and bodies, etc. And then she'll play with them and all that jazz. So um, I keep those two in here. And then again, another LOL checklist because that's what she's digging these days. Okay, so there are treats in here. These are just some vanilla wafers or vanilla wafers, cookies as I always call them. He's obsessed with these now. And these won't stay in here for long because I know that when treats are in bags like this, they just get smushed up and mushy and crumbly. And these already are and we just put them in here yesterday. Um, and so at some point, these will just be taken out and eaten around the house and then something else will replace it in the diaper bag. Um, I just have a couple of diapers in here for Ollie just in case we brought this bag somewhere and not my diaper bag. Um, I have the fake sippy cup again too because we would keep one in there for both kids probably to share. We take this bag out a lot to places like the um, basketball games or other like events and stuff that we're going to. Um, and sometimes we'll take both. We'll pack mine as a person diaper bag and we'll pack this as a snack and entertainment bag for the kids. And just, you know, we need that. We have toddlers and... It's just easier to maneuver them whenever they can be entertained for even just like 30 second spurts or 10 minutes spurts or this or that. So anyway, we normally could only fit one bottle. If we took the diapers out, we would be able to fit two. And so sometimes that's the case. We'll have two side by side, one for each kid, or we just make them share. Lucy's at that age now where she doesn't need a bottle or sippy cup for the most part. Everywhere we go has something that she can drink, which is good. Um, she actually personally packed this bag the other day for church, and it wasn't even to go into church. It was just to ride to church. So she wanted Minnie Mouse her Minnie Mouse book and her Pinkie Pie book. These were a dollar at the Target hotspot and she loves them. And then this um, 10 Little Ladybugs book because Ollie loves to um, to touch the ladybugs but it also teaches counting. It's one of those books that she's read so many times now that she has it memorized. Um, and they both love to read a lot. And so in this um, pocket that I had in my bag, there would normally, I'll turn it inside out, there would normally be foam but there is not because I hate the foam. It's so annoying. Um, and so what is still in here though is probably in her last video too, um, are crayons because we love to craft. I'm pretty sure that same bag was in the last one. Um, and some Shopkin stickers. It really doesn't matter what kind of stickers as long as they're stickers and then some blank paper. So as you can tell, um, drawing and stickering, crafting are really important tools to keeping Lucy, um, entertained. Um, not for long periods of time, but he does love to sit and hold a book and he does love to, um, take stickers on and off things just because he's a boy and he's in that destructive phase of life. So there's still plenty of room in the bag, but that's all we have in it for now. Sometimes we cater to it depending on where we go, but for the most part, there's always the same similar types of things in there because I know what they like and I know what they'll use and I know what keeps them entertained. So I'm gonna put our princesses back in there. And yeah, that is it for the mini conkin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of what's in my conkin and what's in my mini conkin. Um, I enjoyed doing this again. It's neat to see, when I look back at the old video, it was really cool to see what was in my old conkin and how much of it was still there and how much of it had changed. Um, from having one infant to having two toddlers. So anyway, if you guys have any questions about the bags or their upkeep or um, anything about it at all, what they'll fit in them or just how much, um, like the things that we love about them, etc., then feel free to message me or comment below. I will definitely give a really great um, opinion and review, but I will tell you honestly with any question that you ask. Um, because that is the type of reviewer that I am. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy your day. Please click like and subscribe if you haven't and we will see you next time.